good morning so i was just wanting everyone <clears throat> to hear a part of my testimony i have been with god since covid and um we had started saying the lord's prayer going to school every day and uh i've seen so many miracles and everything um i remember celebrating his son's birthday jesus christ and I found a 1948 penny and I was like oh this is the year Israel was starting to be formed and everything and um, I said well Lord this is for you and Jesus Christ came you know and took the penny for his birthday literally it like out of thin air like the penny disappeared and then um, you know <laughs> like praise the Lord that was like right before COVID and everything and um, Praise the Lord, I, uh, you know, I've been walking with God and, you know, struggling with mental health, but God touched my mind two days ago and I felt like my mind being healed, you know, I'm still going to take my medication, you know, until God tells me or whatever, but I, I'm just so thankful, you know, for that help of just with the medication i wasn't even really functional and now i am and then also like i was walking with god one day and i was heading to church and everything and i was in front of dollar general just coming out of there and um i was with god talking and everything and uh i had wanted to go to china you know and and witness to them and everything and i uh, at a time when people were really just sort of hating them and everything for what happened. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I was literally translated like 30 feet to another store that, and I bypassed a whole like workforce place. And like, God was talking to me about how he could have translated me to China, like Philip. And like, I, that, you know, he was proving that he is God and stuff. And I'd also wanted to become a philanthropist and help, you know, spread the gospel through evangelists and, you know, um, apostles and prophets and everything. So, like, I basically, like, went into the store and, like, I saw this beautiful purse that he showed me, a purple purse, and how he wanted me to have that. I haven't been able to buy it yet, but I'm just so thankful, you know that God loved me so much to show me that and I just wanted to share that today as part of my testimony and you know if I've ever hurt you or you know I don't know what I may have done during my mental illness that you know put a strain on you or emotionally hurt you I didn't mean to you know if I said something wrong or whatever or maybe when I was like deleting people from my Facebook page I like was like basically uploading a lot of people all over around the world and I didn't want people to like be hurt by me you know not hurt no I uh, I didn't want people to be at risk or whatever for all that I was doing so I like invited people from all over the world especially China I was doing missions to China and um then I got a lot of requests from all over the world and like so like I was just evangelizing to them and reaching the lost and I won one Iraqi to the Lord praise the Lord and um he said the Lord's prayer and the salvation prayer and um so I'm just so thankful for the Lord what he's doing now and also in Togo we have a church and school praise the Lord God bless you